Hey guys! So today we are creating this extremely cute jellyfish cake. I love the way this came out. I wasn't even planning on making this cake, but I had leftover batter and then I switched around one of my doll cakes. So I just had like this extra doll cake and I was like, what can I turn this into? And it turns out you can turn it into a jellyfish. So welcome to Quali Pops. My name is Jim Halpert. Let's get started. Now, if you want to see more of these kawaii cakes, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me know what kind of content I should be producing. Do you want more animals? Do you want more kawaii? Do you not like any of this? Then write in the comments, I'd prefer you make a doll cake and stop wasting my time with these kawaii cakes that I don't even want to watch. <laughs> that would actually help me know what you like, what you don't like, and why I'm wasting your time. Now for the bottom of this cake, I'm basically creating a doll cake. You've seen this footage before, not on any of my animal cakes, but whenever I create a doll cake, I use this exact same footage. Which is weird because not all my doll cakes are funfetti, sometimes they're chocolate, but you guys probably think that all my doll cakes are funfetti because it's the same footage, recycled over and over and over again. I actually thought this cake was a little too high, so I cut off probably an inch at the top and then just place my PVC pipe in the middle of my cake. Now there is going to be a support system I'm creating with some pipe couplers and some cardboard. There's another doll cake that's going to go on top of this and I wanted to make sure it would hold up. So I added this two bottom layers of my doll cake and this one looks a little weird. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be a Funfetti cake. I think it was a butter pecan. But then because the bottom was Funfetti, I was like, let's just add sprinkles to the top of this as well. And it caramelized on the sides. That's why it looks like this. It doesn't look that attractive, but yo, it tasted bomb. Add it on top and then I just rounded out the top just a little bit so I could get a more circular half dome shape. Placed my cake into the fridge to set and while it was setting I was watching some Netflix. Actually I was watching Hulu. There's a show on Hulu called The Act. You guys, ah, uh, it's, it's intense. It is Patricia Arquette and the little girl who plays her daughter. Golden Globes, they're gonna get them. Patricia Arquette is gonna get a Golden Globe. Her performance in this show is incredible. I binge watched the first and the second episode and I was so creeped out by the end because Patricia Arquette is so, whoa. Go watch it. And if you're not old enough, there's a whole bunch of cartoons on Hulu that you can watch as well. I took my cake out of the fridge and I realized I wanted to create the bottom of my jellyfish um, separately. So I added some black fondant to the bottom and I just started to score it so it would look more like the abyss. Kind of. The bottom of this cake, most of it isn't even a part of the jellyfish. It's just there to hold the head of the jellyfish up. Now I added the head on and I covered it in some blue fondant. Like a life force blue. Why is life force blue? I thought it was green. Okay. Well, I guess water is life. Maybe. I'm overthinking this. <laughs> Then I started to add more of his features. I think my jellyfish's name is Harold or Samsonite. Oh, this jellyfish is named Samsonite. I wanted this to have a more realistic look. So instead of just placing the fondant on top, I actually created like two craters for his eyes and I shaped his mouth with a fondant tool. I did this first while the fondant was soft so it wouldn't crack. And then I started to add all of my jellyfish tentacles. So the bottom of the cake, all it does is just hold up all of my jellyfish tentacles. I don't know if these tentacles are accurate to any jellyfish. I'll, well, this is a kawaii jellyfish. So, you know, do what you want. And I thought he'd be, look really cute with some spots. So I'm adding some white spots all over his cake. And then I used a little bit of magic sauce and some white food coloring and I just splattered it on too so I could get like really small dots. It looks like bomb freckles. I added his mouth and his eyes and then I started to luster dust this just a little bit. I love Zoe's fancy cakes. I love the way that she kind of highlights all of her cakes with a little bit of dry luster dust. So I tried to do that here. I love the way that I highlighted his eyes and the tentacles. 
I wanted to differentiate the bottom of the cake from the top so I decided to make it look a little bit more wet. And to add a little bit of detail I added more black fondant so it looks like rocks at the bottom of the sea. And voila, my jellyfish cake was complete. Now, I love the different shapes of the tentacles. I love the colors I chose for the tentacles as well. We got some glitterati. We got a little bit of little bow pink. Some beauty queen. And uh, it's a girl going on. I just love the combination of the blue and all the pinks. And the expression on Samsonite's face is just... It's so happy, isn't it? Now I'm curious, do you like kawaii animal cakes? Would you like to see me make more of them? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!